whole thing. I'm okay with this. One of the major issues of our discussion today and the major reason for our meeting is the issue of security within the region. As the Southeast governors decried the state of insecurity in the region, you all are aware that our economic activities have come to a halt while kidnapping and wanton killing have become the order of the day. Southeast Governors Day for call on the federal government to come to the aid of the people of Southeast in beefing up security in the zone, bearing in mind that elections are also you know, around the corner and there is heightened activities within this period. Meanwhile, we deliberated on the best way to help our people and also restore their confidence to go about their businesses. And we all agreed definitely and totally to start a joint security patrol in all our major highways in Southeast. And this will commence before December 1st. So we're going to put funds together to uh, purchase vehicles to ensure that we have 24 hours joint patrol of security people in most of our highways in Southeast. On the issue of flooding, we commend the states and the federal government on their efforts to alleviate the sufferings of the victims of the recent flood menace in the country. We hope, however, that why the our uh, immediate uh, uh, solution is being given by the federal government. We hope that long-term solution will be discussed because that is what is most desirable, knowing where that this has become an annual thing. And with the climate change, nobody knows what the next year will be like. So Southeast governors have decided to put funds together to further assist the victims of flooding in our five states in the southeast. So this will be a common project uh, to show synergy and show sympathy you know, uh, to all our brothers and sisters who have suffered so much as a result of this uh, unfortunate situation. We also plead with the federal government to please initiate action in the dredging of rivers in the southeast to ameliorate the destruction of houses farmlands and properties. The federal government is also requested to come to the aid of the victims in terms of rehabilitation of the internally displaced persons. As the flood, you know, has started to recede, uh, some of uh, the IDP camps will be going back to their supposedly homes. But we all are aware that the homes have been washed away. So we call on the federal government to put action in place in, on how to rehabilitate them because they won't continue to be at the IDP camps. They must go home. Southeast governors are watching with keen interest the development with respect to the case of Nam Dekalo 
vis-a-vis -vis the Corolins. However, we believe that a political solution is still very much possible in the circumstance. And so we ask the federal government that we are disposed as a people for political so solution in this regard. Thank you.